Is it working? Testing, testing. One, two, three. Bob tells me what I can't and can do Friday night on the ride Never carry the stick like bamboo Come natural rule In a natural state like Cantu Early morning rise Praise Shaku Friday night spread the gospel That's Mark and Matthew Back to Bible squeeze Scripture sneeze Here I go at you Separately trying to get this dough Nothing like Banku Child of God, rude boy, don't panic Damn it, demon boy just vanished Hello my icy angels, I hope that you guys have been good since the last time we've had our little catch up, it's been a minute, I've got a lot of like vlogs in the inventory so even though I'm, I haven't actually, we haven't actually, you know, um, I think I've been speaking to you guys because I've been doing these vlogs and I've been like uploading, them. I've been um, editing them and I've been engaged but I just, it's, it's a two way thing. So, um, hi guys, I hope that everyone is great. Thank you guys for coming back to my channel, coming back to my videos, catching me on the net. I appreciate it. Catching me online, how about that? I appreciate it. Um, if you're new here, welcome to Pink Swarfage, CEO of Icy Swarf Empire. You already know, if you know, you know, but if you don't, you're finna know. And, um, and thank you for checking in with me. So if you'd like to, I'd love if you can like, subscribe, join the family and stay locked in. You already know, if you know, you know. Press that subscribe button because that means that that just helps generate the video to our community, our tribe, our people, our gang, gang, gang. And if you yourself subscribe, like, and share, that just ensures you to stay locked in. Anyway, without further ado, I'm just gonna go and jump in like real, real quick, okay? Because ain't nobody got time to waste. Thank you so much for checking in with me because I know it's a very busy, busy life right now, which is kind of what this video is about, really. Um, so it's just a little bit of um, context. One second. Yeah, oops. There's a little bit of context, okay? So, um, at this present moment, it is now approximately, it's the 27th of February. So tomorrow is technically the last day of this year, because it's not a leap year. So tomorrow is gonna be the last day of this month. Um, I'm gonna be looking down because I just have some notes. Just let me prove it to y'all. I have some notes on my iPad, but I've also put it on the on the book because my iPad is literally on like seven percent. So I have a few notes. Can you see that? I got some notes. Okay, your girl really <clears throat> put the effort in just so that I can get this message delivered to you guys. Okay, so today it is going to be more or less. Um, yeah, so basically if I do be looking down, it's just because I want to make sure that I am covering everything that I've that I've been convicted to cover. So um, I also have my Bible here, okay? And I'll explain to you why I'm accompanied with my Bible today. I actually have another Bible that I use like in between that I, I alternate between. So my other Bible is a King James version. It's a pink one. So it looks literally like this baby pink it looks like this but just in a bible <clears throat> so yeah i'm going to tell you why i have this bible as my prop today the word so i'm actually the prop of the word because the word is not my prop but anyway so um let me do a little context insight and i also am accompanied with my hedge hugs water bottle mm, it's so fluffy so amazing and I'm just wearing gym clothes. It's a no makeup situation today because I just really wanted to like deliver this message to you guys and it not be anything about me, not be anything about me, but purely about the message, not the packaging, okay? Like when you go to Amazon, you're not really worried about the packaging, you're worried about what's inside. So I want you guys to focus on what's inside. Um, okay, so as I said, today is Sunday the 27th of February. Okay, it's approximately around 5 something p.m. So that's to give you a little bit of like context to where we're at. Um, if you know, you know. Um, I'll get into that now. 
but I just want to explain what my channel is going to basically be about so I have some other vlogs coming out which is a little bit more explanatory which explains a little bit more about what I've been going through a little bit lately in my own personal and spiritual life and honestly this channel is like I am a fashion marketing and business um, fashion business and marketing student and I'm in the world but I'm not of the world and at the end of the day I am going to be successful in my field and all of that blah 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 but I am a child of God a kingdom citizen first so my channel is the foundation and the core of everything that I do and everything that I want to be um, established or known for or renowned for it is Yahweh it is the creator it is I am that I am it's his son Yahshua HaMashiach that died on the cross for all of our sins through love and it's his Holy Spirit so that's what I want to be renowned for so recently God's really put it on me where it's like he's been giving me a lot of information throughout the years and I've been recording them I have so many vlogs just in the inventory but I just haven't got around to actually editing it and uploading it and the devil is really the devil as well actually because he really doesn't want the information I have there to be uploaded but God's put it on me where it's like look look what's happened now this has come forth this has come forth you've got it in the vlogs but you haven't uploaded it so yeah that's just to, that's just to say that I am gonna do both I'm not gonna be lukewarm like I'm gonna show you guys the lifestyle and all of that fun stuff and all of that in interesting stuff however is going to be a faith-based channel my life is faith-based so that's 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 that so that's just giving you a little bit of insight into where I'm coming from where I'm gonna let you know on um, Fridays or not Fridays but there's going to be two bases to my channel okay so there's going to be a faith-based element and then it's going to be like a lifestyle based element so with a faith-based faith -based element, we'll probably do like a Bible study here or there. We'll probably do like um, um, just a little snippet. We'll do something that's faith-based in, in general, okay? Faith-based. And then in lifestyle-based will be everything else that I'm putting on YouTube. So faith-based is going to be Sabbath times, which is Friday sunset till Saturday sunset. So anytime between that time, you can expect a faith-based video um, upload. And Mondays, just Mondays in general, Mondays is where I will be putting up the lifestyle based vlogs and videos. So I just wanted to like give you guys a little bit of a structure so you can understand where I'm coming from just in case you're not into the faith based thing or you're not into the lifestyle, like you can understand where, which is where, like when you see it uploaded on Friday, uploaded on this day, you can kind of see, okay then this is what that is, but you can tell by the description and, and the title anyway, duh. Anyway. Um, chill. Anyway, so. So we move on, okay? We move on. Okay, so with my notes now, I'm just going to like run through them and then I'm going to like explain it. So, what I'm gonna have to do first of all when I'm doing this with you guys is get you um, a particular scripture. So, today, just so that you know, today is a faith based video. If you didn't get it already, Today's a faith-based video. So pr proceed with caution. Okay, so just to get a basis, I just want us to kind of get an understanding of what I'm gonna be talking about. So I've got a couple verses that we will go to in the word and we can just get an understanding on what the word says um, this is. What I would say as well, so that kind of is why I have my Bible accompanying me today, the word, okay? So um, that's why. I would always tell anybody that I know, have a physical word, like the, 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 the phone, the iPad or whatever, all these devices are always good. However, they're coded, like you can actually change things on them. Where the word is the same today, tomorrow and forever, like it will always, be the same like you will not come like you not have this book and then like in a year's time you'll see that the words have changed in the book do you know what I mean and that that's just what it is like we're not gonna have that conversation right now about oh the Bible's been changed so many times like it's not that it's really not that um but yeah I will always tell everybody to have the word like this is where once you have that that hunger to know God and you've got that relationship with him you will want to 
to read the word so much because you understand so much more about him. You understand his likes, his dislikes, his this, his that, his plans. And he tells you these words, he tells us prophecy, he tells us these things purely so that when he can warn us, he can warn us from what what can, what is to come, he's giving you, like he would never send a flood without warning, like he wouldn't. So he will warn, he will warn us with his word. And two, with these prophecies, it's like once they come forth, because the word of God is the word of the God of God, like it's not it's non-changing, like it's it's today, it's the same today, tomorrow, and forever. Like it's it's infallible, it's in it's it's absolutely like he can't lie. He won't like he can't lie. So it's the word of God, it's 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 facts and it will happen. Whatever needs to happen to make that happen will happen. It's really mad, but it's just it's, it's life and it's spiritual laws so like his word is the words the same today tomorrow and forever and that's not that's not changing you know what was I saying approximately 10 hours later you see what I'm saying like the devil really is a liar you know the devil really is a liar but the whole point of what I'm saying is to say that the Bible is your friend because it's literally like God speaking to you, like speaking to your heart where like you really get to know him in a way where it's like he's actually speaking to you in the way that's unique to you, like to your personality, to your triggers, to your traumas, to your past, to your present, to your future. And it's like with, with him giving prophecy, you know that he is the God that actually created time, that created creation, that done all of that, you know? So I just wanted to like give that little thing about the word, you know? The word is amazing. But anyway, um, let's get into it. So I just wanted to like kind of give you a little definition about kind of what the Bible says about kind of the end of the day. So if you haven't realized already, obviously we're in very much the last days, like Russia and Ukraine, all of this war talk, you have all of this like metaverse talk, you have all the climate change talk, like all of these are signs that we're in the final kind of hour of the old the old world order, if that makes sense. So um it's not like one of them conspiracies, like new world order conspiracies, but it is it's a new world order fact, if that makes sense. It's not a conspiracy. So and it's wanted to like kind of take us back to kind of Old Testament because I knew we have a lot of um, disc like we have a lot of di confusion with the New Testament. God is not the maker of confusion; it's very much simple. But um, all the faiths like Islam, Judaism, Christianity, we should all agree with the Old Testament because it's 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 like it's Old Testament. It's all the same. So with Daniel. Like we'll go back to Daniel because from the first moment God has already established and told us what will what will be what will be like the structure of the world. So in Daniel, obviously, um Daniel was a prophet, like from the tribe, from God's people, from the children of Israel, he was a prophet, and he ended up then making his way over to like it was like a wartime Babylon was reigning and then they had to go like with Ukraine now they have to go and take them boys so that they can end up fighting in the army or whatever like that type of moves like being drafted basically so he's like basically being drafted with his bro like his boys so he ended up then being drafted in Babylon he ended up being like nah I can't eat your foods I can't serve your gods I can't do this and the other to the point where they tried to persecute him they tried to kill him off they tried to like finish him but God had done what he done, which is why God does his prophecies, not just for his own people, but for you to show them pagans, show the people that are not of God, whose gods have God has hardened their hearts. You show them, this is that God. He is the almighty God of gods, king of kings, God of angel armies, like he is that God. Sorry, just before we get into this, I'm just gonna do a little quick prayer because that's what the devil is not gonna do. So God, we just thank you so much. Thank you for today. We just thank you for allowing me to get to this video. Thank you for everything that you're doing, not just in our lives, but everywhere around the world, for the people that love you, for the people that think that they don't love you, for the people that really don't love you. You set the sun, you 
rise the sun and you set the moon for all of us all of us have sun all of us have moon we have water in it etc like thank you so much lord so just thank you for everything you've done we pray for all of our people around the world we pray for all of our siblings in christ our brothers and sisters we pray for the people in ukraine in russia in in libya in syria in israel in palestine in india in iraq egypt in trinidad in africa in everywhere father we pray for our people everywhere we pray for your people because as the video is going to show lord the times are only going to get worse and the only thing that we have is you and we thank you so much for that lord because it honestly is a blessing so we thank you so much we rebuke any devil should not come on the channel with evil eye or with any negative demonic energy we rebuke it. it can't stay here but if they do come here glory always goes to you father so they're gonna leave convicted and they're gonna leave with a seed planted in their hearts so we thank you so much lord just continue to do your thing continue to do everything that you've set in us for us and in front of us and we just ask lord that we can just continue to fight the good fight we thank you so much we pray this prayer in the name of the father the son the holy spirit i am that i am the god of abraham isaac and jacob along with the ruach hakadesh which is the holy spirit and in the name of yashua hamashiach so sorry guys so yes um basically i don't know all of that to say yeah so daniel ended up being drafted from his boys he's like not so god ended up showing all of these other pagan religions who have their gods who've created gods of gold calf all of these things um gold silver bronze mud all the stone all of these things like you know so they have their gods to the point where it's like they seem that their gods are not doing nothing but your God is actually ma moving mad. He's like allowing you guys to be in the dan in the lion's den. He's allowing you guys to be in like the, the furnace. And there's no, there's, if anything, it's not, it's, you guys are not being touched. But there's like supernatural beings on your, working on your behalf. Like they ain't never seen nothing like that. So obviously it's like, oh, what is this? This is the God that created heaven and earth. Because they didn't know about, they don't know about him. Do you know what I mean? They're pagan. Like they, this is, this is normal to them. Anyway, going forward then, this this um pagan this pagan ruler, one of the greatest actually, um, Nebuchadnezzar, he had a very, very disheartening dream. None of his people could remember like could could like show him, could interpret it, but he also said not just to interpret the dream, actually tell me what the dream is. So like imagine you having a bad dream and a person that needs to tell you exactly what happened in your dream. That's mad. So Daniel came because they were like, yo, none of you guys, all of you magicians, you wise men, astrologers, alchemists, all of you guys, wizards, warlocks, you guys can't tell me what this is while you guys are not doing your job. You guys are gonna have to die. Everyone's gonna have to get deaded off, you know? So that's what he was saying. And then Daniel was like, oh, raw, like, let me chat to him, let me chat to him, innit? And then Daniel went to chat to him, and he's like, yo, let me tell you something, bro. It's not by my grace, it's not by me. None of these men can do what you're asking. Not even I can, bro. What you're asking is literally impossible for man. Know that, know that, humble yourself, yeah? The only one that can tell us is Yahweh. Because why he gave you the dream, he's the only one that can tell you what you dreamt because he's the one that knows man's heart. Only him, friend. So I'm finna do it for you, but it's only because man's calm enough to be a vessel for him, isn't it? Like, it's not that. But I'ma tell you what he told me. So he ended up telling him what he told him. Let me tell you what he told him, okay, guys. So I'ma go and find this verse in my Bible. It's Daniel 2, 41 to 42. So let's go there real quick. Forty-two. Okay, here we go. All right, all right, all right. Okay, let's go. So, all right, okay. If I can show you guys, literally, the devil wants to stop the I movie. Um, movie stopped automatically. I bet it did, didn't it? Because you really thought Mom wasn't gonna catch in how to like. No, 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 no. Um. Anyway, so. Anyway, so Daniel's interpretation. Your Majesty. As you were watching, suddenly a colossal statue appeared. That statue, tall and dazzling, was standing in front of you, and, it, and its appearance was terrifying. 
The head of the statue was pure gold. Its chest and arms were silver. Its stomach and thighs were bronze. Its legs were iron and its feet were partly iron and partly, fi partly fired clay. As you were watching, a stone broke off without a hand touching it. Struck, struck the statue on its feet of iron and fired clay and crushed them. Then the iron, the fired clay, the, blonde, the bronze, the silver and the gold were shattered and came like chaff from the summer threshing floors. The wind carried them away and not a trace of them could be found. But the stone that struck the statue became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. This was the, this was the dream. Now we will tell, it the king, tell the king its interpretation. Your majesty, you are king of kings. The God of the heavens have given you sovereignty, power, strength, and glory wherever people live, all wild animals, all birds of the sky. He has handed them over to you and made you ruler over them all. You are the head of gold. After you, there will arise another kingdom inferior to yours, and then another, a third kingdom of bronze, which will rule the whole earth. A fourth kingdom will be as strong as iron, for iron crushes and shatters everything, and like iron that smashes, it will crush and smash all the others. So iron, if you guys are smart, you already clocked that iron obviously is wrong. Obviously. Okay? Cool. You saw the feet and toes partly of potter's fired clay and partly of iron. It will be a divided kingdom. Though some of the strength of iron will be in it, you saw the iron mixed with clay, and that the toes of the feet were partly iron and, are, and partly fired clay. Part of the kingdom will be strong, and part will be brittle. You saw the iron mixed with clay. The peoples will mix with one another, but will not hold together, just as iron does not mix with fired clay. If you guys remember and you know the system of obviously the way that the world, especially the Western world, is set up now, intermixing was literally an art of war. Like you mixed with certain people, you send your princess to go with that prince, blah blah blah. Before they even are born, you already plan their marriage because you need to keep the kingdoms together. And if the kingdoms aren't intermarried and like locked via blood now, that blood connection, then they're able to be at war with each other and etc. And that's something that kind of, obviously, that was supposed to barter that basically. So as you can see, this is how they they really tried to, to do. They really tried to do it. But prophecy is prophecy. It's just what it is. Anyway, um, in the days of those kings, the God of the heavens will set up a kingdom that will never be destroyed, and this kingdom will not be left to another people. It will crush. It will crush all these kingdoms and bring them to an end, and will itself endure forever. You saw a stone break off from the mountain without a hand touching it, and it crushed the iron, bronze, fire clay, silver, and gold. The great God has told the king, has told the king what will happen in the future. The dream is certain, and its in interpretation reliable. Okay? So then you have the response of the king, you have like a little bit then, it talks specifically about the gold statue, um, it talks about the actual statue, it goes then and it talks specifically about the statue, it talks about what it will do, like, it will, t it, will it goes in, it goes in guys, it goes in, alright, so basically it will put a pin there. So I done all of that basically just so that I can kind of give you a little bit of insight into like this was already prophesied. The way that the world is confused that like nations are going against nations and all of these things is nothing new under the sun like these things. It's from the moment like for example from the beginning of the book if you refer back to um, the, the Tower of Babylon we were all one people, we spoke one language, and we were all in the same place, like one tribe of people. However, what we were obviously, well, they were, they were, they were, okay, so they were obviously like pagan worshippers as well, and like um, sacrificing their children and etc, sacrificing unto gods and altars. 
so basically what had happened then is that they wanted to build an altar a tower so that they can reach heaven and that they can be just like what Satan tried to do was try to be like God like at the same level as God is absolutely mad okay but God was like nah 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 no more so what he done is that he 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 confused their language he confused their tongue so that they all started speaking different languages in a way that they couldn't actually work together anymore one minute they're working together tools and work and construction and all of that stuff next thing you know now their language has been completely confused that they can't even communicate to keep building that tower so that was where from the beginning of time we can see that they've tried to build this one world system it's not anything new and it's not it's actually it's, it's impossible it's not meant to be like it, it can't be because there's something like especially because like the world is not like the world's not given over to Yahweh he's not given over to the creator this is the devil has dominion because we have dominion and that takes us back to Genesis um let me just let me just get that verse for you so that takes us back to Genesis Alright, so that takes us back to Genesis where the creation, now the earth was formless and empty. Okay, then God said that there'd be light, blah blah blah, and then let's go to the sixth day. Genesis 1, 26 to 2, 25, where it's the creation of man, making of man, mankind. Then God said, let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. They will rule the fish of the sea, the birds of the sky, the livestock, the whole earth, and the creatures that crawl on the earth. The earth. So listen to this verse, because I'm gonna put a pin in it, because I'm gonna have to like bring you guys back here a little bit to explain something. So, and the creatures that crawl on the earth. So God created man in his own image, spirit, okay? The spiritual part of us is the image of God, okay? He created him in the image of Yahweh. He created them male and female. God blessed them and God said to them, be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth and subdue it, okay? Rule the fish of the sea, the birds of the sky, God also said, look, I have given you every seed, sorry, the birds of the sky and every creature that crawls on the earth. Yahweh also said, look, I have given you every seed bearing plant on the surface of the entire earth and every tree whose fruit contains seeds. This will be food for you, for all the wildlife of the earth, for every bird of the sky and for every creature that crawls on the earth everything having the breath of life in it i have given every green plant for food and it was so and it was so god saw all that he had made and it was very good indeed evening and then morning evening came and then morning the sixth day okay so there is free will for you that's free will right there that's literally free will and love in a nutshell okay God has given us dominion from then and us as humans we are the ones that give any spirit dominion to operate in this world because we have dominion through our bodies our flesh physical our matter so when we are not given dominion to Yahweh in our lives and we're not using our dominion our power our strength our our humanity to exalt the creator Yahweh we're inevitably giving it to the devil to the enemy so this is what it is that's why I say of course God is all-powerful and all everything but that's why I say that the devil is the one who kind of has dominion over this over this world so because the devil has dominion over this world if you're loving God which goes against this world they ain't gonna like the world ain't gonna like that they're not gonna like you so that's just why I kind of wanted to like lay that foundation where in Genesis God given uh, he's given that dominion to man okay and I'll come back to there in a little bit so I'm just gonna get my notes on that just to make sure that I don't go on a tangent because I you know what I love to get go on tangents y'all know that cool so 
they okay let me just get into it now okay so what's going on in 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 ukraine and what's going on in russia just wanted to give you guys a little bit of foundation etc into like this is not new and you shouldn't be surprised you shouldn't be so disheartened because we understand what's going on and why these things are happening is not to say that god's not in control or that he doesn't know what's going on he's not upset like god knows what's going on and that's why he's given us his word so that we can also know what's going on you know um okay so let's just get let's jump into it let's jump into it okay guys guys so let's really really go in okay so the war that's happening right now i pray for all my people not just in israel not just in israel or anywhere else but in ukraine in the places that they're not showing us especially in the places that are not actually being documented because what are they doing to the people that have no coverage that have no support have no social media follow have no hashtag is peak so i pray for all of our people all my all my people all my brothers and sisters in christ everywhere even the ones that aren't like i feel real sorry for y'all but even the ones that are just really like i pray that you all keep the faith you know because that's exactly what the devil is trying to do he don't, he don't want us or y'all to know what's up okay so that's why especially i've been really convicted like god's really been putting it on me like girl i've given you gifts i've given you talent i've given you this and the other go and make go and do my go and do my business about my father's business that's what's gonna be here like stay tuned for that okay guys I see swap empire down below I see swap empire you already know I see swap empire.com period okay anyway guys my bad so I you told me a tangent okay guys so yeah the current events which is like the war that's going on right now is very 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 devastating it's so so sad seeing them bombs and strikes rah 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 so let's just go back a little bit and kind of remember what we're dealing with. We're dealing with, with, we're dealing with a Nazi regime government. Like this is not new. This is not new for these people. Like we all know about slavery. We all know about um, what they've done to the Aboriginals in, 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 in Australia and New Zealand. We all know what they've done to the, 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 the Native American, the Indians. We've been knowing what they'd be doing. It's not new, do you know what I'm saying? But it's like, and you see the situation that's going on right now? For Russia, they're looking at it like, yo, you're on my border. Like you're you're part of you're part of my people. We're all one. You need to be you can't be on my border and not you can't be on our border and then you're not a part of our regime. Because if that's the case now, if someone's trying to come in, you're gonna allow them in and blah blah blah. So obviously it's not nice that Russia's like, yo, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this one. A part of the dictatorship and take that one and take that one and that one we need to understand though why they're able to do that and what the what the precautions are of what's going to happen next so for me personally i think that this is a massive agenda this is not like a russia versus china versus um, america versus britain versus new zealand like it's not a, it's not a world war like that okay i personally think that the war is against us as the people and it's for your mind your body and your spirit that's what i personally would say that it is that's what i would personally say that the war is on but let's just uh, let's humor them a minute okay for for a second oh you in the name of jesus okay so let's humor them for a mini minuscule minis second okay so for example the war that's happening right now, America cannot actually afford to do what and say what they're trying to do and say. So, for example, I've been saying it that this, since the cryptocurrency boom has been happening since I would say 2019, 2020, since that cryptocurrency thing has been booming, this was before COVID, right? So this is right before COVID. It was booming and blah, blah, blah. They're trying to like push this whole Bitcoin, make it glamorous, blah, 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 because that's where is a one world currency and like they have control over every single thing that you're doing. It's a complete record over it. So that is what they were pushing since then. They just needed a catalyst for this, okay? So they could never make cryptocurrency king if dollar was still king dollar. So the dollar is the standard around the world, right? Where it's like um, it, it gives America the the power that they have because their dollar is the standard, right? So with all of that now, all the regimes, all the agendas, all of the stuff that America is pushing, it will inevitably 
everyone will have to kind of go ahead with it because you rely on them to trade all right so let's just take out the fact that they have like they have treasures like gold diamonds all of these things let's just take out the fact that they've taken parts of like countries that are not theirs land that is not there purely because of the mineral rights and what resources are actually there okay let's just take that out of the equation let's take that out of the equation that they've gone to other people's country to like demand people's land and their birthright basically let's just take that out of, out of consideration but they've been on the debt bubble and they've been pushing this whole cryptocurrency thing been pushing all of these other things because their fiat currency is getting weak and weak and weak every single minute basically literally minutes every single minute that the markets open fiat currency especially the american dollar and etc is just falling and failing so they need a reason to crash the market technically okay so they needed it in a way not just to crash the market but crash the the whole democracy the whole system of it right and war is literally an art form we all know anyone who knows history knows that war is an art form okay it's not just that it's, it's something bad that happens this is how you become a successful dictatorship a successful nation a successful anything in the eyes of like man isn't it like that's that's it so obviously putting, putting that into consideration now um, this is how they crash the dollar. This is how they crash the dollar, the pound, everything else then will, fiat currency is gone and then everything else, every, every transaction is traced, is tracked and it is recorded. That is basically like, that's basically like the agenda, okay? Because currency doesn't really exist, it's energy. Like money is energy, all of these things is energy, right? So, another, another con. Russia knows the Russia knows this. Russia knows that America and especially Britain, London, is not only in debt to Russia in a sense, but also to the point where you've done like we we are a brotherhood. We are like a Freemason brotherhood, you know? So there's no way that you can come and give me these type of sanctions because you owe me one and we've worked together and we've done things together that you do not want to be disclosed. You do not want it to be public information so hold your horses type of thing but also to the point where it's like are you gonna look after the refu refugees because you actually want to look after your own people the people that work for your nhs that have been there that have been here since windrush you want to deport your own people but now you're trying to go and defend other countries that are speaking the same language as us it's our people you want to go and defend them where you can't even look after your own people hold up like with all this energy stuff that's going on right now and already rising, where are you gonna get this energy? Because you're in like 3% like um, debt to like Russia because they are the ones where you get your a lot 3% of your energy from, you know? It's really mad, okay? But this is where I'm I'm going, I'm wrapping it up, guys. So basically the fall of the dollar needs to happen. There's like a 24, 23 or 24 trillion dollar debt bubble, trillion dollars trillion dollars that's not even like like that's nothing that's just like the debt of america that's not the debt of the consumers that's not like the corporate debt that's not that's like just america's debt yeah cool and obviously we know that they owe so much to china it's really 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 peak because putin is literally on the way to china to have chit chat with his best dictator friend and it's like at any moment they can just press buttons and and move mad so you know settle down circle 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 down type of thing you know anyway they're all part of the same order that's what i'm trying to get to like the same agenda the same order and they all want the same thing for their people like it's it's really peak but it's like all of this propaganda of this one and war and that one and war and this that and that it's literally propaganda to brainwash you and condition you it's really bad it's really bad but guys um you're probably gonna hear a lot of things on my channel that you might not think is like real but just know that if you believe in the bible everything that i say is biblical yeah like everything that i'm gonna say is biblical and that's why i just i, I employ everybody 
even if you're not a believer, even if you're like just a cynic, that's even better because like do your own research. Go and inquire yourself, go and look yourself because it's such an, it's so, it's such an entertaining book. It's like, it's like some type of Game of Thrones type of thing, like some sci-fi book, but it's real life. It's mad. It's like non-fictional, but it's like sci-fi. Anyway, um, it's cool. So as I was saying here, yeah, they want the currencies to fall, but also they want us to get on the digital kind of plane before so that we're susceptible to it. For example, all of this black mirror, all of these type of predictive programming things is so that you are conditioned, so that when you are confronted with this thing that is not normal, not good, you are already accustomed to it, you're already, you're already like susceptible, you're already conditioned, literally conditioned. Like that's what they do to animals, massive wild animals. They condition them and basically brainwash them. And it's really, really bad, but this is why you need to study, this is why you need to study to show yourself approved because we all have to answer when we come to like judgment day. You can't say, oh, because I didn't want to know it, because I did we all have YouTube, you have the same resources as everybody else. Like you can do that research. And I would definitely say the first step to any of that is to go and just talk to God. Cry out to him about whatever you have in your mind or whatever you're dealing with, and he will, I promise you, he will lead you into all truth. The spirit will lead you into all truth for facts so they just want to like program us and they know that we're very predictive people as humans okay so they put out certain things to make you susceptible to make it more like to make you just not challenge it because as I said we have dominion on planet earth we as matter we are physical and spiritual beings but us having our physical body, physical body, because once there is life, there is life. Even if the body is like brain dead or whatever, like there is life. Once there is life, that's why I'm just like, even with abortion and stuff like that, like once there is life, God acknowledges that there is life. And your body, you're very, very, very powerful because you, not just having that spiritual spark in you, yeah, that's alive. But you actually have a physical body, even if you can't walk or can't talk, you have that that birthright, you know, to operate. Not God, because He's given us free will. God Himself, nor the devil, no no side can operate, but through humans. Like it's a human that has to give its authority and dominion over to that spirit to use that body, that vessel as like um not a host but as a vessel basically as a vehicle so that's what i wanted to say as well with all of this stuff going on like social media and all of these war stuff and all of these like um kanye and all of these different pop culture stuff that is literally to just distract you from what is really going on obviously in the uk boris has just passed that thing 12 minutes okay Boris has just passed that thing where he's like, oh yeah, live with COVID plan, rah, 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 where you, have to now, where you have to now pay for COVID tests and stuff like that. That is just another step to their agenda, to, to put, trying to put like pressure and fear onto certain people. So don't think that, oh yeah, they're pushing like, sorry, I'm just sitting on my hair. Don't think that they're pushing all of these other back other agendas and that this agenda is for sure. This is all tying in into their like, one world system, like their, their new world order basically. Because as they keep saying, the old world is gone, the old world is gone, change, change, change. This is what they keep saying. They, they literally programming us to like, be change is good, great, yeah, but the, what is this change? What is this new normal? That's what we need to question and that's what they're pushing, which is the new world order, their new world order. So we keep going, you know, obviously predictive programming, they should distract us for things that are not important so that our portals, which is we have nine portals, your eyes, your nose, your ears, your nostrils, your mouth, vagina and your anal, okay, or penis and anal. So we all have nine portals, you've got the ley lines, you've got your chakras, all of these things, right, which is showing your energy force, your frequency, your power as a human, right? And we're very much like, um, we're very much like, um, what's the word we're very much like synonymous with the earth where it's like obviously the earth is 70% whatever we're 70% whatever we're very in tune with 
planet Earth because we are Earth and we're also very in tune with spirit because we are spirit, right? So, um, obviously, so yeah, we have like, um, obviously we have portals in our body and when you're like listening to music or watching TV or saying things or even reading things where you're looking at things that do not glorify God or do not like exalt Him and His power and His excellency, then it's like you're inevitably watching something that doesn't glorify him which is then giving your energy your power over to the, the the other side you know so this is what i mean by like portals as well and that's kind of how that's how the devil works a lot as well like with the music tv shows all of these things that we just know are not glorifying our god and it's not representing us in the in the light that we're supposed to that we were made for so um that's just a tie into that really where I just want to say like when they're pushing this metaverse so I do fashion business and marketing okay and social media marketing at that so I understand all of the the cons and all the pro I understand all the pros and all the good positives for um for the metaverse and for that digital world this is what I'm saying though as I said it's God first for me first and foremost okay so I need to make sure that everything that I'm saying, I need to understand how that applies to the spiritual realm. And technology, I've been saying this way, way before any of these things, okay? Like technology is, an, is, is a tool for the enemy. It's just what it is. It allows him to do the three things that he wanted, like he want, wanted to do from the beginning of the Garden of Eden, the beginning of the fall of, of man and obedience, which is to be all knowing like God, all powerful and all present. And social and technology slash social media, especially technology, allows them to do that. Especially if we especially if we're all connected to that technology. So for example, like this whole metaverse situation, you do not have power and dominion there. The th like the power and dominion that you do have, which is like your physical body connected to your spirit, you're giving your physical body up in the fact where it's like, okay, I'll take the vaccine, I'll take whatever you want to give me because I don't care about my physical body because I'm on the metaverse and that's where I'm alive. Like you can do whatever, you can tax me whatever, you can do whatever you want to do to me in this real world. It's like what happened to Monday and like all of those Black Mirror episodes, all of those things where we've been predicted programming that predictive we've been predict they, they predicted pro like, they predicted the programmed us or something where it's to the point that like we don't even realize where we're going or how quick we're going there but this whole situation with like the metaverse and all of that like it's very 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 damaging and it's, it's detrimental like it's very dangerous but that is a definite tool where you need to just look out for it. I'm, I'm gonna do a lot more on that. I have a documentary coming soon on the metaverse and the use of avatars. Um, so I'm gonna do a video separately on the metaverse and like um, the dangers and how that is just kind of completely against what God has planned for us. But we, he didn't give us dominion over the digital world. He said planet Earth with the animals and the fish and all of these things on Earth. That part, he didn't send you for. So that remember that okay and what else is happening now they have something called like an Abraham Abrahamia like an Abrahamic um, headquarters basically okay and I already told you in the fall of the the Tower of Babel in that situation what did they try to do they all tried to, to come together with all their different pagan religions and gods and, and deities and etc and be one right so that's basically what the Pope and the Jewish, um, the Jewish rabbi heads and the heads of some Islamic Shia, like some Shiites, are 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 basically trying to create a headquarters in I don't know if it's Abu Dhabi or um, it's somewhere like in Middle in the Middle East in the Middle East. So in this particular place in the Middle East, it's prohibited to have a cross on the building, like a, a cross, like a Christian cross. So obviously, with the Pope and their like diluted faith. Um, it's completely not, like it's nothing to do with Christianity at all. It's it's, it's definitely 
an antichrist system and and unfortunately like all of the other ones that I mentioned and as I guys I love everybody like I have friends from every single religion every single race every single everything and I love everybody I will never ever judge you based on like I'm not gonna judge you as a person based on your faith and etc however I know what I know for me and I believe the truth the way in the life is Jesus Christ of Nazareth which is the high priest which gives us that direct connection to his father, Yahweh, the creator. And that's 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 the whole love story of, of, of creation, of mankind. So, unfortunately, everything that is not believing that Jesus Christ is the son of the most high God, Yahweh, the creator of heaven and earth, then that is an antichrist. That's an antichrist spirit. It's an antichrist system. It's just antichrist. So, when I say antichrist, that's what I mean by that it's just honestly like not believe in that okay so as I was saying in this particular place now it's like prohibited it's forbidden to have a cross on, on a particular like public building so um because it's like a Muslim and so it's like an Islamic state so that's what the Pope and everything that's what they have going on there so as I I'm trying to say this now to give you context that even though the metaverse is going to be a fully active, integrated, engaging, etc. functioning world or realm or dimension, even though that's the case, like, even though that's the case, they are still very much active and doing what they're doing in it. Okay? Okay? It's just the only difference is that you have not got the dominion that you was born with you no longer have that because you've given up that right via your body because what do you use for the metaverse you don't use your body you use your mind you use your mental stimulation so let me give you a little context even for like the, the, the Christian people or people like the believers in the in in, in the views yeah um, even the believers in the audience um, you, I don't know if you're familiar, but there are three heavens. So you have the first heaven, which is the physical matter, first dimension. You have the second heaven, which is basically like the spiritual realm, where your dreams, visions, where like witchcraft and spells are done, where like creatures are formed and mermaids and like um, marine kingdoms and demonic aliens and all of these different creatures and vampires, which are real. These things, that's the that's the origin of the, of them. So there's like there's it's basically like um, it, it's it's exactly the same as like the first heaven. So everything that's here is also there. So that's kind of where like astral projection, all of these things come into it. Where like they they can come exactly where they want to because if they if they know the location on Earth, they'll have that dominion over that realm. So in your dreams, you're thinking that you are, you, you you know this place before, you've been here before, but same things are happening and you might not have the main over it because you've got an open doorway in your in your physical realm like you're doing something which you shouldn't be doing in your physical realm which is now giving that those spirits to have that dominion over that space and you in that spiritual realm it's, it's all laws okay and i can get into that let me know in the comments if you want me to get into that and i'll come i'll get into that properly um and then you have the third heaven which is literally where like the holy of holies the the, the hosts are like it's the throne room it's god it's it's pure okay so you have these three dimensions technology is going to be up especially the metaverse that operates in the second heaven okay so that's what i'm saying is like if you don't have control or dominion in the first heaven, the physical realm, you will not have control in the, the spiritual realm. And it's very much cyclical. Cyclical. It's very much a cycle. So if you don't have control over your spiritual realm, you also don't have control over the physical realm. So when I say that, it's like, for example, in your dreams, if you're having like sexual intercourse in your dreams, if you're eating food in your dreams or creating covenants or having agreements in your dreams, you've created an agreement in the physical realm where that's going to now put a hold on your physical, your future, on, on you, on your physical life and things that are happening in, your, in the physical makeup of your life. So 
by you now having control over that this that spiritual aspect of your life you need to make sure that you're you're doing what you're supposed to be doing in the physical realm as in like no open doors you make sure that you and god are good so that in the spiritual realm you actually can fight and you can actually do what you need to do and it's all good because you know the word the word is your friend the word you can't read the word and learn the word in the spirit like you need to read it in the flesh which then your spirit will retain it your spirit will save it and store that like a memory like how your brain does your spirit will store that so when you need it it will it's like fat or glucose like that type of um builds up when you need it then it goes into the reserve and it, it uses what you've already given to it but you need to first feed it in a spirit in the physical realm that's why with fasting and stuff like that this is what you're doing you're now denying the flesh so that you can feed the spirit so instead of eating physical food rah 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 yummy 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 instead of doing that you're actually denying your flesh which is wicked and deceitful you're denying your flesh yeah so that you can actually feed your spirit with the word which is the food which is the word of god which is the food which is the word which is the bible okay so um with climate change i think i explained it a little bit earlier with the climate change situation they purely just want you to have no control like over the physical realm so that you think okay let me go in the metaverse and do this that, and the other that they're telling me to do because they're gonna bring like a sunday law in which is obviously the sunday is pagan like sunday worship is, is a pagan is a pig it kind of has pagan origins the wish the day to worship according to god the god of the bible is, is sabbath which is friday sunset till saturday sunset and the first day then is the day of the sun to worship the sun not the sun that rose from the dead but the sun that rises every single day that that is basically um that sunday worship so the pope has a seven year plan which is called adapto c which is supposed to help climate change and to like subdue the earth and etc so um this is the same pope mind that will tell his congregation tell his people massive following of people that their mission is not to like not to like save souls and like spread their message and like evangelize and etc their mission is to like mind their business basically so just a little context for you there okay um basically then his plan is that on sunday that's like the day of rest now so they've changed it already in like um what was it called the the council of nicaea they changed it already constantine already changed it from sabbath to sunday and if you go and do your own research it will tell you that they changed it with the authority of the catholic church they changed it they changed the reverence of sabbath from saturday to sunday and that's why a lot of christians worship on sunday they have no idea that they actually it's pagan like it's actually a pagan weekly ritual that you're doing this it's, it's mad but anyway we keep moving all right um basically the energy that they're talking about you saving the world and the planet by going on the metaverse by having that sunday rest and doing everything that they say by you doing that then the energy is going to um come from you so you're gonna give up your body your actual h2o your actual o oxygen your actual the carbon makeup of you you're gonna give that up to them that's that's a major amount of energy just so you know okay when 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 one person has enough energy to power their entire nation for 24 hours one person so that's just a little bit of um context there and what what this is all to do is so that this war all of these world wars all of this stuff with russia going over to china they're just waiting for the games to be over in china but they're going over now to like talk war and all of that bs okay but they they're on that they're on that mess all of this is just break all of the political that's just basically to limit all the world um the world powers so that they can make one world power because at the moment they have many they need it to be a one system with one man where one man calls all the shot and all people it's in revelations where of course revelations 13 to uh, 2 to 7 um i'll actually go there because i'm gonna go there i'm gonna go there Phew. two to seven all right so the two beasts and their deception okay Oops. okay and i saw a beast coming up out of the sea 
It had 10 horns and 7 heads. On its horns were 10 crowns and on its heads were blasphemous names. Then I, the beast I saw was like a leopard, its feet were like a bear and its mouth was like a, a lion's mouth. The dragon gave the beast his power, his throne and great authority. One of its heads appeared to be fatally wounded but its fatal wound was healed. The whole earth was amazed and followed the beast. They worshipped the dragon because he gave authority to the beast and they worshipped the beast saying, who is like the beast? Who is able to wage war against it? The beast was given a mouth to utter boasts and blasphemies. It was allowed to exercise authority for four, for 42 months. It so basically a day is a year for God so that's how you a lot of these things are everything in the Bible backs up everything in the Bible so this revelation which is at the end of the Bible backs up Genesis which is at the start of the Bible it also backs up Daniel it backs up everything so when you when you read some things it's like symbolic it's like in a parable I believe that it's definitely it's, it's exactly how it's written with the beasts coming out of the sea and all of these things I think that's what's happening in the second heaven I think that that's what's happening in the second heaven but obviously we can't see that especially if we're not in tune with our with the spiritual realm so to me it's exactly how it's playing out literally in the spiritual realm but also then um, if you go into other parts of the Bible it will tell you exactly what this symbolizes or what that symbolizes what the beast symbolizes or what a prince symbolizes prince symbolizes or what um, the horn symbolize or what the sea symbolizes but the sea basically means like a, a vast multitude of people like tongues nations languages a big a big set of people okay yeah so the beast was given a mouth to utter boasts and blasphemies. It was allowed to exercise authority for 42 months. It began to speak blasphemies against Yahweh, to blaspheme his name and his dwelling. Though those who dwell in heaven, those who those who dwell okay, and its dwelling, those who dwell in heaven. And it was permitted to wage war against the saints, against the saints and to conquer them. It was also given authority over every tribe, people, language and nation. All those who live on the earth will worship it. Everyone whose name was not written from the foundation of the world in the book of life of the Lamb who was slaughtered. If anyone who, hear, who has ears to hear, let them listen. If anyone is to be taken captive, into captivity he goes. If anyone is to be killed with a sword, with a sword he will be killed. This calls for endurance and faithfulness from the saints. So then it talks about the beast from the earth and it's, it's really amazing. Okay guys, I really will tell y'all to read it. I'm just going to read that real quick one, okay? So the beast from the earth, 13, 18 to 11. Then I saw another beast coming up out of the earth. It had two horns like a lamb, but it spoke like a dragon. It exercises all the authorities of the first beast on its behalf and compels the earth and those who live on it to worship the first beast, whose fatal wound was healed. It also performs great signs and wonders. Great signs even causing fire to come down from heaven to earth in front of people. It deceives those who live on the earth because of the signs that it is permitted, allowed, to perform in the presence of the beast. Telling those who live on the earth to make an image mm, that's suspicious of the beast who was wounded by the sword and yet lived. It was permitted to give breath to the image of the beast so that the image of the beast could both speak and cause whoever would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. That's weird. And it makes everyone great and small, rich and poor, free and slave to receive a mark on his right hand or on his forehead so that no one can buy or sell unless he has the mark, the beast's name or the number of its name. This calls for wisdom. Let the one who has understanding calculate the number of the beast because it is the number of a person. Its number is 666. Six, six. Damn. So, 
I can do another video because it's a lot to get into, but it's a lot to like, it's a lot of sim, it's a lot of sy symbolic language that's being used there. And it's absolutely amazing. It's so intriguing and it's so, 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 and so interesting. So interesting. Um, but basically where it said that he's going to either force everyone, young and old, rich and poor, free and slave, etc., to have this mark. That kind of is, is what it says on the right hand or the forehead. The forehead is where it's like your pineal gland, where you actually accept what you're believing or what you're what you're receiving. You actually accept it, and you think that is right. You believe that is the that is to be worshipped, etc. And you have no pro like problems with it. On your right hand is where it you like is forced upon you. So with Christ, with that one. Like they have a seal on their foreheads. They don't have it on their right hand because we are not, Christ, God is never gonna force you to have, to, to come to him or to be a part of his legacy. He's never gonna force you to do that. So that's where we will have that in our foreheads on your, your pineal gland basically. Um, so this just allows us to see there that we have dominion. The whole plan of the enemy is to literally to come to do this. So I'm gonna wrap this video up now because I know I've said a lot, okay, but if you need me to like go into more detail on anything in particular because I know I've said a lot and it's like a lot of information in a short period of time. If you need me to go through anything in particular, just let me know and leave it a note down at the bottom and I'll definitely get back to you on a video. Um, but basically I just wanted to say this to let you guys know basically that what I want to let, let, let the kingdom children know, like everyone, of the kingdom I just want us all to know like we are wrestling not against flesh and blood but against principalities powers and spiritual wickedness in high and low places like it's not that you know guys like God's given us his word our life is to literally be a testament and a testimony of him and what he's done for us what he's done in us and what he's currently doing through us which is you sharing your testimony that's it because honestly we're not here to be living forever like this world is we're not supposed to be of this world for a reason if you was to be of this world you will not be ever you will never be satisfied you'll never be happy and that's not what god wants for us he's put a god hold shape in our hearts in our spirit because he's the only one that can fill that as much as you want to go and worship money worship your job worship social media worship your image worship this and the other as much as you want to do that there will always be something missing because he is the way truth and the life okay and the life so i just wanted to like let everybody know basically like this is what i'm going to be doing there's going to be a lot more coming from this recently i'm very active on social media because that's like my it's easier to like get content up there but I will definitely be doing like um, a weekly, every every other Sabbath, like a bi-weekly Bible study where I pick a topic that I think the world is struggling with when it comes to like the, the church. And I just explain that from my understanding of it, biblically, um, my biblical understanding of it. So um, that's, that's, I wanted to just share that because I feel like now definitely like we are we are we are we are the light bearers it's just what it is like it's just that it's you know like we didn't choose the third life the third life chose us is that type of moment right now where you've got to do it by force because at the end of the day like when you feel convicted you need to obedience is better than obedience is better than sacrifice like when you have that obedience you need to listen because it will save your life if you don't listen to god in that one thing he's asking you to do this because that's probably what is going to reinforce or allow him to operate in your life and if you don't do that what is around the corner for you could be so deadly it really is detrimental and you need to just listen to it and you know where god's speaking to you because as i said he knows you more than you know yourself and like he will be the one to convict you in a way that is personal to you, that is tailored to you, where you know that it's, it's like, it's a God thing, you know? And definitely the word helps because the word is so personal to you, it's alive, where it's, it's, it's the same today, tomorrow, and forever, but it will convict you in different ways when you, when you are at particular points in your journey, you know? But anyway, I just want to say all of that, basically, guys, to let you guys know, like, keep the faith we got to keep fighting it's all written here don't ever be worried don't ever be like all of this new age stuff all of the alien stuff all of this other stuff mermaids and all of these things earthquakes natural disasters wars famines all of these things is written about 
don't don't like don't be disheartened and do not let the devil get that control of you because he can only operate in fear once you have fear that's it the only fear you should have is the fear of god it's not to be scared of god it's to revere him to have that reverence to have that respect and that awe and knowing that he is that god he is the god of god king of kings so that's purely it like the only fear that we should ever have and it's not fear as in like oh, i'm scared if i do this he's gonna do that like that's not how it is it's that i'm scared that if i don't do what he said for me like he said that for me because he loves me and if i don't do that one i'm not obeying him but two the devil doesn't want me to do that because once i do the right thing the devil don't have no rights in my life but if i do the wrong thing and i don't obey god the devil has a legal ground in my life up to three to four generations is real out here okay so i just wanted everyone to know like basically anything that i say or anybody else says like we're not prof we're not like um prophetic people on our own we don't do this on our own N them spiritual people them psychics or mediums or whatever they don't be predicting the future they be creating the future do you know what i'm saying the the only prediction that we know is fallible infallible and is unnegotiable is the word the unadulterated word of god and it's written there for you it's there to help you to to know his know his plans and he's sharing his plans with you it's so beautiful moses begged for that old time prophets begged for that you know and god's really he loves us so much christ fulfilled the order of melchizedek when he died on the cross and the temple was torn and not one stone was on top of the other that means that we don't need another man or another person or a body or an organization or a church or anything else to go directly to god Christ is the way, truth, and life. And that's how he fulfilled that, that whole statement, that whole truth, is that there's no way to the Father but through the Son. It's because he is the high priest. It's beyond, he didn't, he didn't pick that life. He actually didn't, and I don't think he chose that life at all. But it is what it is. Anyway, guys, um, I, I'm gonna keep talking. Basically, this was just all to say that, yeah, like, it's real out here. It's very much very real out here. Like, I pray for everybody that's going through everything, but just know that it's gonna be worse. It's not gonna get better than where we are now. It's never gonna get better. My guy's going to China right now. All of these things are happening, but just know that God's already told us what, is, what it is. God's already told us there needs to be an, an army for 200 million soldiers. And it's, it's real, real crazy. But anyway, guys, um, Anyway guys, basically it's real mad right now, but I'm gonna wrap this up right here. We're going to thank God for this video, finally allowing me to just get this out. I've got a couple other videos, faith based ones, and I've got actually some lifestyle based ones coming up soon. Some of my lifestyle based ones, they've been recorded like a while ago, so do not take it serious. And I've, I don't like to like super edit everything out because my journey is very real and I'm very transparent. I want you guys to know this is my faith journey. Like I'm not a perfect person. Christ did not come for the perfect because if he did, they wouldn't have needed him. He came for the people that aren't perfect and that, he came for the people that aren't perfect, the people that actually genuinely need him. And I need him, I can say that easily. So because I need Christ, I'm very much happy and humbled to accept the fact that I'm not perfect. So don't expect me to be perfect, because if you are expecting that, it's real peak. Like, first of all, you need to go and be perfect yourself and then come and expect that from me. And it's still gonna be peak for you because that's not what you're gonna get. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I don't know how long it is, probably like 50 minutes or something. Hopefully it's like 45 or something. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you all so much. Let me bring you guys a little closer, just a little bit. Yes guys, this is better. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. It's most appreciated always and forever. I love you guys. I love you all so much, my icy angels. Um, check out Icy Swap Empire Kitchen on Instagram. We have a new Instagram for our food page just to show you guys a lot of the Daniel Fast recipes and just some other little meals like eating out reviews and etc. and just like some home cooked meals. Um, so I'm sharing that a little bit with you guys. Yeah guys, so I'm excited to share that with you guys. 
Um, it's a very cute no makeup day. I think the skin is doing its thing. I have a little spot moment going on here, but I think the skin is is doing its little thing. Got a little spot there, but um, I have actually got to vlog. I actually got to edit the skincare nighttime skincare vlog as well. So hopefully that comes out soon as well. Um, I broke a nail. This is my real nails, guys. So this is my real nails. Complete, completely au natural, au natural. That's how you say it, au natural. Why is it never focusing? It doesn't ever focus. Anyway, this is my real nails, like real length and everything. And then basically this is just broken and it's broken here, right there, like in the middle of my nail. But anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. I love you so, so, so very much. Thank you for checking in. I've been wanting to put up this video for such a long time, but I'm so thankful that God has really convicted me and that I've got it done and just up and uploaded. I'm so sorry for speaking so fast. It's just that I'm notorious and I'm renowned for having long, long, long ass videos and nobody has time for that. Ain't nobody really got time for that this year. So I'm speaking faster so that you all can hear everything I gotta say. And if you can't, you can rewind it and then that adds to my views. So it's all good. Everyone's good in the hood. Thank you all so much. I love you all so much for checking in with your girl. Thank you. You loyal. You smart. You very smart. We the best. You. I ripped the doors off and took the hinges off. And when I took the hinges off, I put the hinges in the boy's hands. Yeah, in the boy hands. You know, I, I took the whole door off from the hinges and I put it in the boy's hands. You can put the hinges on the hands too. Never give up, never surrender. Special, I appreciate you. Go buy your mama a house because you got this information that's literally worth more than money. Go buy everybody a house because you got something that's worth more than money, okay? I love you all so much. Like, I'm really coming to you guys like unfiltered, unfiltered, a whole, not even a little concealer, nothing, a whole spot moment, like, like no eyelashes, just really giving natural beauty, you know, just giving like empress vibes. But anyway, guys, I love you all, and I'm actually done now because I don't gonna keep saying, I'm gonna keep saying bye for like the next 10 minutes, okay? So, I love you all so much. Like, you already know what I'm gonna say, okay? So if you've watched up to this point, it's for a reason, I thank you, we're a family. So if you can just lock in, if you can just like, like, if you can just like, go on, like it, like it, go I'm gonna wait for you to do it. I'm actually gonna wait for you to like it. A limb, 10, 9, 8, film. Okay, I'm not gonna wait that long. But if you can like, and if you liked it, I appreciate it. If you can subscribe, go on, subscribe. Go on then, I'm waiting bro, I'm waiting man, come on. Go on, that's it. Subscribe so that you stay locked in to the family, to the gang, 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 gang. So you subscribed, yeah? Have you turn on the notification because as I said to you, your goal's gonna be a lot more consistent because the kingdom stuff, it needs to be like, it needs to be consistent. So if you can just turn on the no notification bells, I'm really appreciate that. That just allows you to be notified whenever I drop a video, whenever there's something going on, especially the faith-based ones, those ones are very important. So turn on the notification bell so that you can hear ding ding, ding ding, or bloop, bloop, or whatever the noise makes, whatever noise you got turned on for that. So yeah, like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bells. Like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bells. I appreciate it. Thank you for locking in, guys, because when you like and share and subscribe, that helps the algorithms to just share this to like any like-minded tribe members, like family members that we may have that we don't even know about, because this is not your traditional family, like blood, relatives this is a chosen family type of thing where it's like spiritual blood relatives where it's like we're brothers and sisters in the blood of christ type of thing you know and and aunties and uncles or whatever like any of that 
you're part of the family and we love we love you here okay and if you guys want to see anything in particular especially faith-based because i know that everyone has a different walk everyone has a different journey if you want to know anything in particular about how i understand certain faith-based things you can drop that in the comments below and i'll be more than happy to share that and to do a more detailed um like individual vlog if that makes sense but i thank you guys so much for checking in with me thank you for checking in with your girl i appreciate it i love you appreciate it like subscribe share comment um notification bells blah 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 all of that all of that appreciate it and i love you guys you guys look so beautiful today you look so good today did i tell you that i don't know if i told you that but you actually look so good today like you look like you are happy even though you know you might not have you've been going through it today or whatever happened like you look good you know and you don't you can't see what you're going through you really can't so that's even just a testament in itself yeah like i love you and just keep the faith okay so i love you my icy angels i'm gonna check in with you shortly in the meantime stay icy baby okay yeah, yeah, yeah. i walk by faith and not by sight I'm legally blind I put my faith in the Lord my God Then you know that's Jesus Christ I pray this corporate prayer with church I don't need the Pope Handle life myself through Jesus' sense Let me drive the boat I walk by faith and not by sight I'm legally blind I put my faith in the Lord my God Then you know that's Jesus